welcome back. As promised in one of the previous videos, we're going to give you a bit of a shop tour. Going to be doing some of the walking around outside for the first little bit. Just to give you an idea how big it is. It's about 24 by 20, so about 420 square feet roughly. On the inside, we're looking at the south side. Uh, siding's not so nice. Uh, we're planning to replace that once the new shop is up and then match the colors, maybe put metal siding on it, just to get everything to match. So this is one of the trees that fell down in the windstorm in the fall. Uh, just narrowly missed the studio itself and just clipped the eaves trough there, so that has to be replaced, but uh, it snowed before I could move the cut logs, because now they're frozen to the ground. So I guess that's gonna have to be a springtime cleanup. Uh, some brush left too, which is also frozen in the snow. Uh, we have a little weasel that lives in the brush piles here. Uh, caught a glimpse of the little guy. Uh, they call him Ermine here in Alberta. And uh, white with a black tip tail. And uh, kind of a neat little thing. I guess they take care of the mice. So we don't need to get a cat. Anyway, that's the south side. We're going to walk around and uh, show you the rest of the up. So now we're looking at the northwest corner. It's got a little bit of an awning uh, over the door and uh, an old wagon wheel. We're just storing some stuff where we have leftover wood that we don't know what to do with. Some little items that doesn't matter if it gets snowed on. Parked in my trailer here. And uh, I'm starting to park out front here as well. Kind of a neat little space. Uh, we'll go around the back side for a last outside view and then we'll head on in. Now I'm standing at the northwest corner. Again, another perspective of the awning and the stuff that we're storing there for the time being. It's a bit of a work in progress. Uh, some lumber that I picked up. Cull lumber from one of the suppliers that I use and uh, barn board from a project from an old barn in BC. Uh, don't know quite what to do with it, but a couple of projects, maybe a couple of bird houses, bird feeders, that sort of thing. Anyway, it's just at the end of this horse pasture, and uh, that's looking about southwest now. So we'll head inside next. So as you come into the studio, there's a little foyer here. I've got uh, probably the old furnace from the house, which was replaced and just put here to good use. Keeps the place nice and warm. And I put my compressor on the other side here. Uh, just gets it out of the way. Still can hear it on the inside, but uh, at least you're not looking at it. So standing in the uh, far corner of the studio, the previous owner made jewelry and used this spot make her jewelry and to sell it I guess. There was a wall that was dividing the space and I took that out just to give me a bit more room and a bit more flexibility. But we'll give you a bit more of a detailed tour in a second. So we're starting to bring some of the tools over from the other shop and not sure if this is going to be a permanent location for these things but uh, I got my sharpening station over there with my lathe tools window facing south, my lathe, and uh, some cabinets that we brought from the other shop, and the run-up cabinets with an old drill press that was originally my dad's, and uh, we've kind of saved it. It'll be put to good use here before I bring the big one over, and then a chop saw station. This is from the woods. Had her favorite hobby, sorting screws. So yeah, all kinds of little things here. Nice little place to do a project. We've got some antique tools, an old saw collection of two, and some old planes and an old bench. I got that bench at an auction along with two others and kept the best one and sold the other two. Uh, my on-site table saw is here, just so I can cut some wood, not very precise, but good enough to cut a couple of pieces of wood. And 
and uh, I'm going to change the camera position and uh, give you a bit more of a tour. So this is one of the views that I get from the many windows in the studio on this snowy Saturday, February the 3rd. Mine is 16, 17 outside right at the moment, but uh, beautiful nonetheless. So the sharpening station is all set up. Uh, not very good at it, so that's something I gotta learn. Uh, picked up some of the jigs for sharpening the chisels and the gouges and uh, all the pieces and an old rough grinder for grinding down metal and uh, all my lathe tools collection against the window there. So this is my lathe, a Delta X5, variable speed, nice little unit, can uh, turn up to about 36 to I think 40 inches. Uh, pretty solid heavy unit, don't do enough on here. Hopefully get back into it. And I thought I'd put this sign that uh, Colin acquired. I'm not going to tell you where because it's probably of some sort of dubious location where he got it from. Anyway, it's kind of apropos, I guess, for this area as the chips do fly when you're cutting wood on the lathe. Close up of uh, this is from the woods. You ready for your close up, Mrs. From the Woods? <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Lots of windows in this little place uh, that's looking directly west into the horse pasture. And uh, the old workbench from the auction. Needs a little bit of TLC, so that's going to be a bit of a restoration project. I was going to make a sofa table out of it, but it's a little big for that. An antique wrench collection that I have. I uh, picked that up at an auction as well. That was uh, from the set of a TV show that was shot in the area. I believe it was called Hell on Wheels, um, the series. I don't know what season it was from, but it's uh, some wrenches that were there, and I picked up a couple of other things. So that is a little project for a wall display. And uh, got a scroll saw. One of the first tools that uh, my parents purchased for me in support of my habit and a little ongoing project my 1985 BMW R65 didn't get to ride it that much this year only once with a friend it's a nice ride got soaking wet and uh, needs a bit of maintenance so I'm going to do that this this winter and then just panning around to a little area in the back there where I'm keeping all the mechanics tools and wrenches and so on and so forth. So what you're looking at here is a model of a project that I did many years ago for the church that we attend when they were building the building. I did a lot of the millwork in the church and one of the centerpieces of course is the pulpit and uh, we, I built the pulpit in the garage at the old house and uh, the people that were in charge kind of wanted to have an idea what it would look like and to approve it and I don't know what scale it is but to give you a rough idea how big that is it's approximately three inches tall I thought it would be funny at some point if the pastor visited that we would have him stand behind there and take a picture uh, expound from this pulpit it would be kind of funny I think anyway uh, project that I really enjoy doing and uh, I'll get a picture of the final product product and you can see how that turned out so this has been a ongoing project uh, bought this oh, I don't know five six years ago uh, Colin had one as well, except his was an 83 in black, and he uh, turned it into a cafe. Um, I'm too old to be riding a cafe bike, so I did a few modifications to make it a little bit neater. It runs pretty good for an 85. Needs a bit of tuning. Uh, still an old school Boxster engine, 
and uh, 650 cc. Uh, it'll, it's fast enough for me. So in the back there, there's uh, I salvaged a whole bunch of uh, metal serving trays that came out of a, a restaurant. They were going to throw them away, so I thought, hey, that's great for nuts and bolts and odd pieces that I collect, and uh, you just never know what type of things you want to collect. So I made a little storage container, a little metal workbench, and storage. We've got a lot of stuff that has to be sorted yet and put into boxes or into the drawers. My mechanics tool chest, and uh, got to get that all organized too. So this is from the woods. is going to be busy. So we brought over some some big tools. Uh, my big bandsaw. Uh, resaw is up to 16 inches. I've uh, never done that. But apparently you can handle that. A bit of a clamp collection. I've got lots more at the other shop, but uh, took about half of the small ones that I have. And my 8-inch general jointer here. And uh, that'll come in handy. And a bit of a collection of man cave items. Beer signs that came off of old uh, sandwich boards or menu boards from a restaurant project that we did. Uh, an old sign from the Dakota Bar and Grill, which is now the local restaurant on Stephen Avenue. And also, they were they had a little microbrewery that they were supporting out of BC, and I kind of thought that was neat. Uh, outstanding in the in the forest. Maybe a uh, catchphrase for from the woods. A microbrewery called uh, Tree Beer. Uh, kind of thought that was neat, so I saved that. And a couple other items. So now we're looking west, and uh, just kind of a bit of a storage area for the time being. Again, we've got a lot of stuff that's coming over from the other shop. And uh, my two chainsaws, they're in need of some maintenance. I gotta sharpen the chains and clean them out. Get them all tuned up. And uh, again, lots of windows here so you can see people coming down the driveway or watching the moose walk by. So kind of a neat little, neat little studio for small projects. Some of this uh, tool, some of the tools here will be going into the new shop. And uh, we'll just kind of keep this as a bit of a hobby storage space for projects coming up. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And uh, we're going to start making a few small projects to get back into it. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.